face. Cal here bringing you another video. Today I just wanted to show you a little replay of what I did. I did something in two attacks. This is the basic layout if you don't move anything. Um, and I thought I'd show you guys how to uh, take it out in two hits. So for this one we're first clearing out a little bit and then uh, I'm using barbarians here because you want the barbarians to get in front of your giants to uh, help take out this cannon cart as quickly as possible because once that's down uh, they just do a bit more DPS than uh, the wizards and essentially what you do is you come in through this front part and as long as your giants and barbarians stay in front of your wizards you'll have uh, plenty of tanking that you don't need uh, a heal spell until you hit this part right here with the super wizard and actually if you want to be even more uh optimal with the placement you could probably put it more uh this way so that it covers as you can see the giants but most importantly these wizards right here uh if it was placed a bit more to the right um probably wouldn't have gotten much more we would have gotten stuck right here anyways um we probably just would have broken through which in the second attack doesn't really matter because we'll be coming from this right side. Um, but being able to take out all this in one hit, just being patient with that heal spell and making sure that those giants are up front uh, will serve you very well. Now we're just coming in from this side again with uh, barbarians. I've kind of changed my mind on barbarians since our last video. Uh, seeing them in action, it's just when you only use barbarians. Barbarians I think are really good when it comes to taking out a few key defenses or uh, sections of the base just because of how quick they are and they're half the space. So seeing how much DPS they do right here is really good. Um, I usually use them mostly only for these um, cannon cart sections just because the cannon cart does way too much damage. Uh, I don't think it's too much damage in the sense that it needs to be nerfed, but it just does a lot of damage in the sense that uh, it shreds your giants, and uh, because the giants don't target them, they'll walk past and then they'll shred your uh, super wizards. We held on to a super wizard um, because we had a feeling that there would be a bomb here, no point of uh, spending all our wizards in one place. Mostly because of how little DPS goes on against these giants in the first place. Holding on to a wizard to make sure that they don't kill things too quickly and uh, go in front of your giants is also a good idea. So trickling in your super wizards helped out with this raid also. Made sure that we had super wizards in the back after that big explosion right there. Um, and we also trickled some super uh, wizards in the first section. I didn't go over it. But uh, going from the top end and, uh, what's it called, trickling helped us out. I'll go over it one more time, just because it's short, only three minutes. Uh, and I'll go over it, this one a bit more detailed. So we were getting this funnel right here for the Super Barbarians. And if you notice right here, I only send in, uh, I send them in one at a time just in case for a bomb in case they like change something. We send those barbarians to take out this cannon cart right there. And we're holding on to the super wizard because right here we don't know if there's any bombs. And I didn't want to risk uh, maybe our giants walking or if our super wizards went this way, I wanted to have a wizard to help go down this way if needed. But they all went right anyways. And that's kind of where I wanted to talk about right there. Uh, everything else you kind of seen but that is how to take out wizard valley in two hits uh just be patient oh i thought it would show us the undestroyed version just take it out in two hits be very patient with that uh heal really only use it for that wizard tower and if you noticed in our second attack i'll show it really quick uh we didn't use our heal right away either we used it for the second half because if you notice all this is uh what's it called this beginning part is not splash damage, and your giants are tanky enough. So when it comes to here, when the splash damage starts to happen, that's when you need your heal, and that's why we drop it in a way that is healing for the giants in the beginning, and then as they wrap around, we'll heal for them 
when they get back. And that bomb went off, and we had the extra wizard in the back, just in case our wizards went forward right here um, and all died, I wanted to have that wizard uh, to go behind these giants in case all the other wizards died. So that'll be the video. Hope you guys learned um, about how to take down Wizard Valley without any edits and two hits. Uh, I don't know how useful this information will be in the future just because it's Wizard Valley 1, but maybe some of you guys are still there. Our clan is currently going to Clan Capital 4. So uh, I assume that most other bases are nearing that point as well, and maybe you won't even be capital peak level 3 by the time uh, this next week comes around. But that's why I want to get this video out now, now that it happened. So hope you guys learned something, hope you guys did enjoy. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.